Yeah. Checks in the mail. Okay. Roll. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah, I need your name. Hi, right, name is Mike Bernstein, B-E-R-N-S-T-E-I-N. Okay. Uh, spokesperson for SUMA Health System. Okay, and so what do we have here? So approximately uh, six o'clock this morning, we had a fire uh, in the basement of St. Thomas Hospital. We immediately implemented emergency protocols. Patients were evacuated. The fire was contained. There are no known injuries. And at this time, we are in the process of transporting our patients uh, to various locations in the area. Quite a scare. Uh, it is scary, but the important thing is that we plan for this type of thing. We train for this type of thing. We prep for this type of thing. We have protocols in place. So when it happens, uh, our people, our employees are ready for it. Uh, so for the patients, absolutely. Uh, but for, for the people who take care of them, it's, it's something that we're ready to do. Do you know what started the fire? We don't know at this time. And it would be a little bit suspicious, wouldn't it, if it's in the basement storage area? I don't think that's fair to say. No. Uh, I think that what we need to do is understand what happened. Uh, it could have been a variety of things, I'm sure. Okay. Do you know? Do you know how you got alerted to the fire? How you learned about it? Uh, I do not, but we have uh, obviously fire security system throughout the facility, so I'm going to to uh, assume that those went off. But the exact uh, notification initially, I do not know. What I was hearing was that some of the staff members smelled smoke, and they they took action right away. I do know that there was smoke, um, and I do know that the uh, staff immediately implemented those emergency protocols we discussed. Um, but I don't know again exactly the cause. Any idea about damage in the basement? Not at this time. What about numbers of people that you have an approximate? Approximately 100 patients uh, being transported to other facilities. When will you be back, uh, when you back to normal? Uh, so we'll see what the damage is. And I uh, know that they're working right now with the fire department uh, to understand what that damage is. And as soon as we can have patients back in there, we will. But I'd be speculating right now if I told you what that would be. And I want to just uh, just say to, uh, to the, the people here, the employees, the families, uh, the patients, and also to the fire and police department, a phenomenal job today, and we're very appreciative of the work that everybody did to keep people safe. How about uh, phone numbers, contact for loved ones who won't know where they are? Yeah, so uh, we are establishing a phone number, and I'll be happy to give you that in just a minute. But we, we do have a, an information line that we are establishing, and if people have questions about loved ones, we encourage them to call, and we will be ready to answer those questions. So you have about 100 people who reside, patients that stay here? Yes, here? census varies from day to day, but at this time it's roughly 100. And and, and it's not, uh, they're not all SUMA patients, so we also lease space to the Crystal Clinic Orthopedic Center. Uh, so they also uh, run essentially a hospital within a hospital, but, but it's separate from us. Uh, so they also have patients who are being transported to other facilities, and I don't have information. I can tell you that the 100 is, includes their patients, but I don't have specific information on their patients. And is, is this, does this hospital also have a mental health ward? So we service a variety of uh, different patients in this facility. Uh, for HIPAA reasons, we don't disclose specific types of patients that are in the building at any time, but it's a variety of patients that you can see in here. In the beginning, did you say anything, I'm sorry, did you say anything about uh, the condition, anyone smoking, inhalation, any of that? Yeah, so no known injuries. Uh, so we believe that everyone is doing okay and that uh, everyone is safe, which is the most important thing. I have your name, I'm sorry. Sure. First name is Mike. Last name is Bernstein, B-E-R-N-S-T-E-I-N. Thank you. And uh, 